Preparation for the United Nations Association's Test of English Prior to the oral test, the examinees are requested to fill an interview sheet presenting a set of questions. The sheets will provide the examiners with the examinees' personal background information that may ease the process of interview. The examinees have discretion regarding how much in detail they reveal about their personal information. And the examiners also have the discretion regarding the use of the answers in the interview sheet. Let me respond to these interview sheet questions based on my factual personal information. Some parts of the answers could be actually written on the interview sheet and some could be elaborated in the course of the interview. Now, let's get started. Questions A. Family B. Home address C. Occupation D. Special qualifications E. Education F. Hobbies, interests, special concerns G. Favorite authors, in English H. Person I respect I. Foreign countries visited J. Foreign countries I want to visit A. Family. I am married and have a wife and a daughter. I am living in The Hague, the Netherlands, and my wife and daughter are living in Geneva, Switzerland. Presently, my wife is a bilingual teacher, Japanese and French, and my daughter is a student at the University of Geneva. B. Home address. I have three different home addresses. The first home address is the one in The Hague, the Netherlands, where I reside alone. The second is the one in Geneva where my wife resides. And the third is the one in Fukui, my hometown in Japan. I have my house there which I inherited from my late parents. This third address, where my niece and her husband together with their small children are presently living, is the one I used in applying for this examination. C. Occupation. In short, I am a civil service retiree, pensioner, but I am also a postdoctoral research associate, affiliated with a graduate institution within a Dutch university. This is the institute where I obtained my PhD in 2019. I am also a non-resident consultant for an international public organization. D. Special Qualifications I have academic qualifications that enable me to engage in university-level, education and research activities, undergraduate and graduate, for various social science and humanity fields. They include, for example, political science, economics, international affairs, diplomacy, Asian politics, development studies, history, etc. E. Education B.A. Double Major, Political Science and Economics M.A. 1. International Affairs, International Relations, and Asian Politics M.A. 2. And A.B.D. Economics, Money and Banking, and Trade Ph.D. Development Studies F. Hobbies, Interests, Special Concerns Reading is my most dominant pastime activity, mostly in English particularly those of my intellectual concerns, i.e., international affairs, diplomacy, politics, UN, etc. I like to share my knowledge with youngsters through presenting academic lectures. I have been given the 4th Dan Kodo Certificate of Judo, and have judoka friends in many parts of the world. G. Favorite authors, in English. I am an avid reader, several books, 3 to 8 books, a month most of them being non-fiction, academic books, covering a wide range of topics, historical and contemporary, say, international political and economic relations, as well as specific events of countries, regions that draw much media attention, such as Brexit, the US presidential election, COVID-19 pandemic, etc. My favorite academic writers, scholars include, Joseph Stiglitz, Jeffrey Sachs, Hajun Chang, Kenichi Ono, Paul Kennedy, etc. My favorite non-academic writers include, Kazuo Ishiguro, Ernest Hemingway. 
Pia Lamaitra, Agatha Christie, Stephen King, etc. H. Person I respect. I respect my late father who accepted and supported his son's decision to choose his way of life, including leaving Japan, rather than imposing his wishes on his son. I also admire his literary talent of producing numerous fantastic Japanese tanka and witty senru pieces. I. Foreign countries visited. I left Japan in 1974 and lived in the United States for 16 years until 1990. Initially, I was in Michigan for four years for my undergraduate education, 1974 to 1978, and then in Washington, D.C. For my first graduate school education for three years, 1978 to 1980. And then moved in New York City to work for the WHO New York office for two years. 1980 to 1982. I also attended a graduate school for economics at night while in New York, 1981 to 1986, for the second MA degree and beyond. I remained in New York City, as I taught international baccalaureate economics classes at an international school, 1983 to 1987, and the New York UN Secretariat, 1987 to 1990. Since 1990, I have lived in Europe, mostly in Geneva, Switzerland, 1990 to 2013, and in The Hague, 2013 to present. I have visited numerous countries in Asia, mainly East Asia, Africa and Europe, altogether. Perhaps more than 50 countries. Most of my visits are work-related and relatively short, typically organizing international official meetings and consulting with local officials. J. Foreign countries I want to visit. Given the pandemic crisis in most of the countries in the world, I am not particularly enthusiastic about the idea of visiting foreign countries as such. Once the pandemic crisis settles, say sometime next year, I will be able to travel more freely, mostly for attending academic conferences and giving lectures, as long as the events are organized in English, and of course in Japanese. When filling out the interview sheet, many test takers draft the answers in advance before the test and copy them on the day of the test. I hope you can make good use of the interview sheet so that you can talk about your area of expertise. Two interviewers will ask you questions one after another, so please train your English skills on a daily basis so that you can keep up with the pace. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.